Hi, first grade friends. Today is day number three of our still life project. Last time I saw you, we were cutting strips and making a pattern for the tablecloth on our table. All right, I did an AAB and a, uh, ABB pattern. Uh, what you're going to do today is that piece of paper that you saved from before, we are going to make a bowl. All right, because remember, we're doing a still life. Still life is objects that sit on a table that do not move. All right, I'm using a Sharpie so you can see what I'm doing, but you're going to use a pencil. So you're going to use that half of the paper. From before, you're going to do a curved line, nice and large. Notice I took up the whole piece of paper, and then what you're going to do is you're going to make a line that goes across, slightly curved. You're going to color in your bowl. Now your bowl can be whatever color you want it to be. I think mine's going to be a wooden bowl, so I'm going to color mine brown. You do not have to do yours brown. You can do whatever color you want. Notice when I drew mine, I drew mine horizontal, not vertical. Okay, I'm not going to take my the whole time to color in this whole bowl, but you will color in the whole thing. Hide the paper when you color. You're going to use your scissors. You're going to cut it out. Don't glue your bowl yet, but I will show you how it's going to be set up on your paper. Okay, so here is my artwork. Here's my bowl. All right, you decide where on your table it's going to sit. All right, mine will sit about there, but I'm not gluing it yet. Now I'm going to use some scrap paper from before, or I can get another piece of paper out. You decide what kind of fruit is going to go in your bowl. You're going to make all of these with a pencil. You're going to draw them, and then you'll cut them out. So let's talk about some fruit. We have cherries. All right, you don't have to do these if you don't want to. You could do all apples. You could do bananas. I want you to fill that whole bowl up, though with different fruit, all different kinds. It's not so easy to draw upside down. Try the best I can. I'm gonna make those little dots because this banana is very ripe. All right, you're gonna do this with a pencil. That way if you make a mistake, you can erase it. Okay. I think I'll do another apple. After you draw with pencil, never a bad idea to trace over your pencil with a black marker, black crayon, or black Sharpie. It always looks nice when you do that. Then you're gonna use your markers or crayons to color in. I think I'm gonna switch mine up. I've been using crayons this whole time and I think this time I'm gonna use some markers. Same rule, hide the paper when you color. Right now, let's pretend I'm done coloring in my fruit. I want to show you how you're going to put it in your bowl. All right, let me do this apple real quick. So remember, you always cut on the lines. All right, take your time, cut on the lines so your artwork does not look sloppy. I would organize the fruit in your bowl before you glue it down so that you know that you like the way it looks. Okay, so I'll have my bowl. Remember, I haven't glued it down yet. All right, you're going to tuck the fruit underneath. And it's okay if the fruit touches and, it, and some of them are on top of each other and it's okay if it's stacked. All right, you're going to go ahead and do that. And then part of your job as an artist is if you want to add any other details to your artwork with extra paper. So maybe with extra paper you could draw um, a fork and you'll have a fork that you cut out and glue down on your table. Maybe you'll make a clock for the wall or a window. Okay, That's part of your job as an artist is to always think of extra ideas to make your artwork look different than mine. All right, this is the last day you're going to work on these. I can't wait to see how your artwork comes out. Don't forget to take a picture and send it to me through Google Classroom. Keep up the good work. Bye, friends.